position of gymnastic. A. Standing position. 1. Feet together are feet parallel. The feet are about the feet are about 1 inch apart. Thus pointing forward arms at the side. 2. Stride position. The feet are apart about 12 inches wide. The stride may be made wider than 12 inches. The weight of the body is on the butt feet and the trunk is at the center and arms at the side. 3. Lunge position. Bend one knee, the other leg straight. Weight on butt feet, hands on hips. 4. Half knee bend. Feet together, bend knees to about 45 angles feet, flat on the floor, body erect, hands on hips. 5. Full knee bend or squat position. The knees are fully bent, sit on the heels of the feet. The weight of the body is on the ball of the feet. E. Sitting position. 1. Long sitting position. Sitting with the legs extended, forward toes pointed, tuck erect, and hands on hips. Hook sitting position. Sit on buttocks, bed knees, close to the body, trunk erect, hands on shin of the legs. Long sitting rest position. Legs and toes are extended forward, hands at the hands at the rear on the floor and elbow and body straight. 4. Back sitting position. Sit on buttocks, bend knees, close to the body, round back so that forehead and the knees are incorrect and chin of the legs. 5. Stride sitting position. Sitting on the buttocks, spread legs apart, trunk erect, hands on thighs. 6. Side sitting position. Sitting on the buttocks, bend right or left leg extended, sideward, hands on knees. Hands on knees. 7. Hurdle sitting position. Sitting on buttocks, bend right leg at the back, about 90 degree angle, and the other leg extended diagonally forwards. 8. Heel seat. From kneeling position, sit on the heels of the feet, toss pointed, hands on hips. 9. Cross seating. Sitting in a cross leg position, the arms are also crossed. C. Kneeling position. 1. Kneeling position. Kneel on both knees, knee, kneel close together, body erect, hands on hips. 2. Stride kneeling position. Kneeling on both knees, with knees apart. 3. Half kneeling position. Right or left kneeling on right or left in half kneeling position in front hand on hips. Kneeling position one leg. Kneeling on one leg the other extended sideward, forward or backward. D. Lying position. One. Bank or supine lying position. Lying on the bank the body is well extended arms overhead toss pointed. 2. Front or prone lying position. Body is well extended, the side of the body is in contract with the floor, thus pointed arms forward. 3. Side lying position. With the body well extended, the side of the body is in contact with the floor. One's hand on the floor overhead and the other hand, the head bent close to chest palms on her, thus pointed. 4. Hook lying position. In a bank of lying position, bend knee with the feet close to buttocks, feet flat on the floor, arms overhead. 5. Tuck lying position. Lying on the back, pull the knees close to the forehead, hold chin of legs. E. Arm support position. 1. Supine or back arm support. From a long lying position, lift the body with straight arm support. Body legs, toes well extended and one straight line. 2. Prone or front support. From front lying position, lift the body to front arms. Support. Body legs and toes well extended and in one straight line. 3. Side arm support. The body is supported with the right of left arm. The body is well extended. 4. Base position. 1. Dog stand position. For, from a kneeling position, place the hands on the floor, elbow straight, toss pointed the knees, hands at the base of supports. 2. Bridge stand position. From a hook seating, lift the trunk, legs and the arms in the right angle with the trunk.
3. Hand position. 1. Hand on hips. Achieve by placing both hands on hips. 2. Hand on waist. Achieve by placing both hands on waist. Mm -hmm. waist. 3. Hands on chest. Achieve by placing both hands on chest. Palms half downward and arm on shoulder level. 4. Hands on head. Achieve by placing both on your hands on top of your head. 5. Hands on shoulder. Achieve by placing both hands on the top of your shoulder. Hands or rear of neck. Achieving by placing both hands on the nape of the neck. H. Arm position. 1. Arm sideways. Achieving by holding up both hands sideways at shoulder level. 2. Arms upwards. Achieving by holding up both hands upward. Arm obliquely sideward downward. Achieve by holding up both hands sideways at hip level. Arms oblique backward downward. Achieve by holding up both hands backward at shoulder level. 5. Arms oblique forward upward. Achieving by holding up both sideways above the shoulder level. 6. Arms forward. Achieve by holding up both hands forward at shoulder level. 7. Arms in T position. Achieve by raising your elbow at shoulder level and facing your arms downward. 8. Arms in reverse T position. Achieve by raising your elbow at shoulder and facing your arms upward.